everybody, and welcome to the next episode, the next edition of Farming to Max Town Hall 10 here with Mystic 7. Alright, enough of that shit. Uh, we're going to be attacking Go Go Diego Go uh, with archers, all archers, that is my farming strategy. And we have the king and queen, so we got a full army here, we got lightning spells, we got a clan castle, and we're going to start off by taking out this mortar. And once this mortar's out of the way, we're going to go full on from the top of the base. Uh, just going in in a big circle around the base on both sides. Uh, and that just maximizes the total loot gain and it soaks it all up. And uh, unfortunately, there is a lot of loot in this base and not all of it are in the collectors. So we might have to go in and slide in this base's DMs and get some loot. So uh, after all of the archers are kind of done just taking as much as they can, as much loot as they can, uh, we are going to have to send in some reinforcements, and by reinforcements, I mean some heroes. Y'all saying, bro? So, uh, they're going to almost take out that last gold collector there, and then I just kind of, I'm like, I, I kind of sat there for a second just deciding uh, where on this base I wanted to attack from, because there were a couple spots, and I really did want to stay away from the enemy heroes. So, I decided to go on that cannon kind of on the right side there with my king and queen, and uh, I hope that they would work their way kind of into the middle of the base and get as many storages as they could, so... Uh, there goes the heroes, and uh, King's doing, a, he's t literally taking all of the heat right now, two expos, and all of the defenses are on him, and then the uh, uses his ability, and he's going to be rushing through and destroying everything, and the enemy King's going to walk and be like, what's up, Bray? And my King is not having it, smack his ass to death, I had to use the Queen's uh, special a little bit better there, unfortunately, because that uh, Inferno, that uh, Tesla was really, you know, killing her, so... Uh, the king goes down, but fortunately he does have a bunch of barbarians to back him up and almost take out that storage, so I get uh, almost all the loot from it. And uh, after those go down, the level 1 expo is going to be trained on my queen, uh, while she literally destroys everything and she's going to be going after that gold storage right here. And uh, she's going to almost take it out, I don't know, does she, oh yeah, she takes it out. She's going to take it out and then I'm going to end battle right before she dies. And uh, getting me 324,000 gold, 300,000 elixir, and 3,000 dark elixir, plus my bonuses, which brought that well over uh, 400k each, so that was an awesome over 800k raid plus bonuses. Now this next raid is going to be against Smoke Laner, and uh, he's going to have almost full collectors, and we are absolutely going to take advantage of him and bend him over. I mean, I mean, take the loot from his base. And uh, so again, basically same strategy. I'm just going to be taking out the outside buildings and making a big line. I did a really, really thick line on this side mainly because uh, most of the collectors were kind of like. The collectors were clumped up in like two sides of this base, so I did really, really thick lines by those collectors, and then not so much um, where the collectors, you know, where there weren't collectors. So uh, again, a kind of a thick line right there to get as much dark elixir as I could, and then another line on the top with those other collectors just to basically maximize my total loot gain. And uh, I'm gonna get to with my archers around 40%, I want to say, uh, and then I'm gonna put the rest of my archers in up top right there. And then I'm going to be putting in my king and queen uh, to get to the 50% so I can get that loot bonus and also to get some of the extra gold that are in these storages. So uh, king's going to be going in and taking up the majority of the, the damage. He's going to actually be taking a ton of damage. So using his ability and then uh, using the queen's ability just so that she can get some extra firepower and take out those two storages. And that's going to be the end of this raid and get us up to a solid uh, almost 300k gold and two, almost 250k elixir, so that's a lot, plus the bonus. So, uh, let's go back to base and spend all this loot that we got. Alright, guys, we are back at base camp here, and this isn't even my base. Wow, okay, fail. Alright, guys, we are back at base camp, this time the right one. And, uh, as you can see, I only have a day 18 hours on my level 2 expo. That's me level 3 pretty soon here. Four days left on my Inferno Tower. And uh, four days left on my last army camp to get to max. So let's do a little say hi to YouTube while we are uh, deciding on what we uh, we want to upgrade. Actually, and let's get this gem box as well. So shout out to Eliminate. By the way, I just want to say uh, thank you guys for housing me. I am chilling in Eliminate right now. just kind of wanted to visit with them for a little bit because uh, these are my base. I was actually friends with the people of Eliminate long before their clan was like, I guess, considered like famous or really, really popular. Like, I'm OG, bray. Not really. I, I do really enjoy this clan, though, and, and everybody in it are really cool. So, shout out to Illuminate for being awesome. And, uh, yeah, so... Oh. Oh, God. Did I just die? Fuck, that was weird. All right. So, what you're going to notice... Boom, 25 gems. Oh, delicious. What you probably noticed from the title is that we're going to be upgrading our, uh, our minions to max. Now, I was really debating if I wanted to go with 
my freeze spell to level four because we're gonna need that before we start trophy pushing as well my hounds to level three we're gonna need those uh leveled up as well or my minions and i figured i'd just do the minions because you know i can get to 3800 cups without free spells in general so having the max won't be that big of an issue and i don't really need uh I don't really need uh, whatchamacallit's uh, hounds to get there either, but I might be using uh, Lava Lunian on my way up to uh, 4,000 cups. Little spoiler, I guess, I guess this is going to be a little spoiler, that next year um, I will be doing a very serious trophy push probably uh, after I get back from Chicago, which will be kind of over Christmas and New Year's, kind of that time. So uh, I will probably be going for a pretty big push. I might start it actually earlier on Christmas break just because I have like... A couple of days where I'll be doing nothing so I can probably get up in trophies a little bit get up to champions but I definitely do want to get a couple of more things maxed out before I start pushing because uh, elixir is kind of hard to get when you're using balloons and minions so uh, let's go ahead and do that let's be upgrading let's be upgrading let's upgrade our minions to max finally the balloon and minion king I'm just playing I'm not gonna call myself that it's a little bit it's a little bit of an asshole move bro but uh, yeah we're gonna be upgrading minions to level six finally getting them maxed I was actually very very excited uh, when I got Tunnel 10 to get Max Minions, so it's good to actually be getting them now. So, uh, got it, did it. Oh, that felt great. All right, so 14 days, 14 teen. I don't know if any of you guys have seen that video, uh, 55. If you guys have, then you guys are the greatest. Uh, but yeah, 14 teen days until our minions are maxed. So, two more weeks, and we will have maxed out minions, which is awesome. And uh, we should be able to farm up enough. Well, in two weeks, we most definitely will be able to... Shut up, clock! Jesus. It's a loud clock. You guys can probably hear it. In two weeks, we'll most likely... Uh, we better have enough Dark Elixir or Elixir upgrade uh, either our s Free Spell or our Lava Hounds. So, uh, we'll be working on that. Now, also, I do have two builders, and one of them we're going to put... Not on the Skelly Trap, skele skele Trap, but on this Inferno Tower. Now, I am going to be upgrading both of my Inferno Towers at the same time, which isn't a smart idea. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, I don't know, sometimes, so the Inferno Towers still look like they're active, uh, like if somebody skips over your base, Jesus, if somebody sp skips over your base, it does look like they're still active when they're building, like, they have to take a really good look to, to notice that they're inactive, so you can, like, fake someone out by still having them inside your base while they're being worked on, but, you know, I don't know, I'm probably gonna be changing my base pretty soon here, too, because, like, defense log it's okay but like uh, there's raids like this where i just get like wrecked so i'll probably be changing my base up do a base build on that pretty soon here but uh yeah i'm gonna be upgrading both in front towers at the same time because why not so this will take 10 days so in 10 days we'll have uh our second level two in front tower so boom upgrading that there goes all of our gold we only have 800,000 left now we do have a lot of elixir and really nothing to do with it except thanks to this new update walls so um I think we're going to upgrade one wall, just because that's really all we have. And then we'll upgrade this, and that'll take three days. So, uh, let's do one more wall here. All right, shit, shit. And, uh, boom, there we go. There's our another level 10 wall. Uh, we'll be working our walls to maxed as well, but that's going to take a long-ass time, because we still have all of our defense to do. Oh, shit, I still have to, to upgrade this archer tower. Oh, well. Well, that one's going to be the weak the weak link for now, but... uh. So we only have 3.8 million elixir. I don't know. Can we do another wall? How much is it? Oh, that's only 840,000. Yeah, we can do another wall. Yeah, we can. So I guess uh, let's just do like a corner wall right here. Boom. All right, cool. So we got two level 10 walls upgraded, and uh, we'll be upgrading this to uh, level, what is this? Level 10. So uh, yeah, that's going to be it for, uh, we only had two builders this time, but we had a bunch of loot that we just spent. So that's going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and check out all the links in the description. And, uh, yeah, that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Peace. Passing notes to all the pretty girls in class still They never reply, but never say never They never get caught on my mind I'm trying to get better and grind Measure my effort and skill gets better in time Fresher than ever and I am who I am No taking it back, I'm alive and well Well, what to do, my name is unimportant But what I say is quite amazing I hope you enjoy it I put my